What's up you guys? Welcome back to the Redneck Superman channel. <laughs> um, today I was having a weird dream before I woke up this morning and it just reminded me of something that happened when I was a kid. That was very, very strange and I have not told many people about this but because of how weird it is and I don't know how to explain it but okay I was my parents moved around a lot between here and South Florida when I was younger but when I first few years and in entering kindergarten I was in the Florida Panhandle and I was ra we were raised in a, in a different atmosphere, a different life than the southern Florida atmosphere. I mean, I remember growing up uh, dirt floors in, in a home. Uh, I don't know whose home it was, but I remember there was, there was... I know my dad lived in some homes that had dirt floors. They were just... His parents were farmers. My grandparents... But, um, yeah, there were farmers, and I remember, I know we cooked on a, on a wood fire. We used wood fire seat that we had an old wood fireplace, what you call them, big cast iron wood heaters to heat your home. Uh, no, no electric, uh, heating units like that, but, uh. And living out in the woods, almost. I mean, it was. I you. I still take care of this today. And it's woods. And uh, I remember my dad shooting squirrel and making squirrel and rice and things like that. So we we were raised in like just just. I mean, country, just country, just bottom line country. So at one point during, I think I was in kindergarten. We moved to South Florida where some of his family, that their family had split up between here and South Florida. And, uh, oh my God, South Florida was a totally different place. I remember I was in the first or second grade and I didn't feel right about South Florida. I never did. It felt like it was really eerie, really weird. As soon as that we moved down there, I would have nightmares about Native Americans and Seminole. I think there were Seminole people. And at the time, I didn't know what Native Americans and Seminoles were. I did not know about this stuff because I had not learned about it yet. But I would have dreams, like really weird dreams when we moved down here, down there. So, uh, and there's this place called Spook Hill. And you can look that up. It's a real place. And uh, it had a ghost on the board and that really like... I was scared, dude. I was scared. I'm just straight out of scared. Uh, ghosts. And then this one school I went to, I was in first, second grade, somewhere around there. But every morning, I remember the fog lifting up over over the, the hills. You go overlook Orange Grove, see for almost miles. And there's this place called Bach Tower. And you can see it was really eerie to watch from this field in the back of the school and I remember that that memory always stuck with me always that fog just hanging over that box tower but anyways that when I first got to the school I remember first second grade one of the main rules they was like hey see this main building over here you don't go in, in this main building. Ain't no reason for none of y'all kids to be in this other building over here because it was it was separated in different wings of the school. You're not allowed into this wing of this school. Do not go in there. Okay, I got the rules. I, I understand the rules. You tell me not to go in there, I don't go in there. Okay, I got it. So I don't go in there. I understood the rules. I was straight. Just don't go in that part. Okay, no problem. Well... In the school, there was this old, old, old janitor. Oh, I mean, old, old, old black man. About 102 years old. I swear that man was 102. But I still see his face. He was eerie, eerie. And he always gave me this evil eye. Which, 
I'm a kid. I, I'm I'm from the country. I'm from the woods. We ate squirrel and rice, dirt floors, you know, wood burning stoves. Man, that's how we that's how we lived. You know, it's a whole different ball game where I'm at. So I I don't think I I I ain't seen no cop until the '90s. I I don't, I don't remember ever seeing a cop until the, sometime in the late '90s. And um, and I think at the time I I. Well, I ain't gonna add that part because that's a little bit different. But anyways, this old black man—he was Danner. He was—he was always giving me the evil eye. And I was like, man, dude, that guy makes me feel really weird. So one day, uh, I need to go to the bathroom. I said, teacher, can I go to the bathroom? And they give you the pass, and you go down to the bathroom. I knew where the bathroom was at. I was this part of my wing in school. I—I I, I think this was second grade, so I've been there first grade and second grade. So I knew exactly where I was at, what I was doing, where I was going. So. I went to go to the bathroom. I went and it was I went this and it was like these old stone urinals. It was just crazy. This school is so old. But anyways, I went in the bathroom and there's that old janitor in there with a mop. And he starts mumbling part points to the other wing of the school and go over there and I, I couldn't barely understand what he was saying because I still to this day have problems with different dialects of speech other than Southern. I can pick up Southern easy. When you get other dialects of speech, I have some issues. And I've had issues before. I've gotten in trouble for these issues before. But anyways, so he points it out at some bushes over there. And I said, okay. He said the bathroom's broke. Out of order, pretty much. He's what he's trying to tell me. There's, there's bushes right there. Go pee in the bushes. I ain't allowed to go in that wing in that building, so I got to go somewhere. I got to pee. So I went over that bush and I took a leak. Well, that all hell broke loose after that. Here comes the school looking for me and this and that, yada, yada, yada. And I'm like, what in the world is going on? Okay, so they bring me to the principal office. This is an old, another old, older black gentleman. is thing his name was Mr. Mack but anyways he brings me in there and he says why were you peeing in the bushes and I was like I had to go to the bathroom that old man told me to go to the bathroom in the bushes he pointed to the bushes mumbled something about the bathroom being in order got to order to go over there and go to the bathroom and the principal proceeded to ask me he says well when you're at home do you go pee in the bushes and I said yes because I was raised in the woods. We pee <laughs> on trees when I, my dad took us hunting. I mean, that's where you went. That's how you That's how you lived your life, you know? And he was like, well, we don't do that around here. And then he proceeded to tell me I was a liar that no black man, old black man had told me to go pee in the bushes. And I said, yeah, he was in the back. And he said... This shook me. I, he's like, there's no old black man that works as a janitor here. There's no, we don't have anybody like that here. And I was like, yes, there is. There was that old man in the bathroom clean. And he's like, no, there is no old 102-year-old black man working here at all. He's like, that. you need to stop lying or call your mama up here. And, they call, and I got my ass tore up because they said I was lying. And this is back in the day, they didn't paddle me at the school because they still did that back in the day. But I got whoopings when I got home because they said I was lying about this old black man. And I was like, no, for real, he existed. I seen it. He talked to me. And they, they, I, to this day, I swear to you, that old black man, he would still give me the evil eye. He would still look at me. And he would tell, and just, and I, I never seen him a day after that. I never seen him after that ever again. Never. I never seen him. I don't know where he went. Don't know what happened. But after that day, that man was never around ever again. Which is, I swear, but they swear up and down. I even asked my mom about this the other day. She said, yeah, you shouldn't have been lying. I'm like, no, mom, I really, and I sat down with my mom and told her. I was like, mom, I really did. It really happened. And she was, she was shook. She was, she didn't know what to tell me. She, I don't know if she still thinks I'm lying or what, but I don't. I'm telling you, what I saw, what happened, what the man told me, or tried to tell me, or tried to mumble to me, and I was like, 
The only time I got that other eerie feeling about that is when I watched The Stand. And there was that old lady in the corn. Y'all remember that? That made me remember that when I watched that movie, The Stand. And actually, years later, I think I was in high school. Um, we had moved back and forth around. And we wound up moving back down there. Well, my little brother had had to go to the same school, right? So we went to that school to go check him in. My mom's like, do you want to come with us? I said, yeah, mom, I want to come with you. I want to check out what the old school is like. What happened? Oh, my God. We're sitting out there on these concrete benches they have, and here comes Mr. Mack, the principal that was there when I was there, and he, straight up, he's like, what are y'all doing? What are y'all doing here? And I was like, we're waiting for my brother for school, dude. We're just waiting for my mom to get done. And, oh, my God, I swear. I, that... Oh, but this really happened. An old man told me, would they swear to this, that that man didn't exist? And I was like, yes, he does. Yes, he does exist. I seen him. I talked to him. He scares the ever living, you know what, out of me. Like that little lady in the corn in the stand. But I have some more stuff to tell. About things I've seen. Things I've heard. And uh, I would like to share. America's greatest country on earth. Y'all have a good one.